In the previous video, we have seen that if the requirements are not known or not clear, it adds to the complexity. And waterfall approach may not be appropriate for the complex projects. Before I go any further, let's start with this weird analogy. Assume a project is initiated to fill this pothole. If we know the exact dimensions of the pothole or the requirements are known, then the project phases can be sequential. It starts with the dimensions or requirements, design and prepare the mold, pour the concrete material, finishing of the block and fill the pothole. Sequential and easy to manage, isn't it? This is called the waterfall approach. As we know, it works only if all the requirements are known and clearly understood at the beginning. If we don't know the dimensions of the pothole, then it becomes a complex problem. In this case, how to solve the complex problem when the requirements are not known at the start of the project? In the same example, assume you don't know the dimensions of the pothole. Therefore, you decide to chisel out the shape to fill the gap. You go on refining the shape by carving and cutting it over and over again. This is called iterative approach. You refine or iterate until you carve the block to perfectly fit into the pothole. Therefore, even though you do not know the dimensions or requirements, you could fill the gap with multiple iterations. This is called the iterative approach. Now, let us solve this complex problem in yet another way. You create a square block and deliver it to the customer. Customer places the square block in the pothole and gives you feedback. You create more incremental blocks based on the feedback and fill the pothole. If I name these blocks as increments, then this is called the incremental approach. Here, the customer does not have to wait till the end of the project. Customer can start using the increments and gives out feedbacks towards the completion of the project. Therefore, even though you didn't know the dimensions to start with, you could fill the gap with incremental approach. Another smart way of handling it when the requirements are unknown. Yet another scenario. Here, you have absolutely no clue how big or small is the pothole. In this case, you decided to deliver smaller bricks. With continuous customer feedback, you could send the bricks in appropriate size and shape. You also chisel out some of the bricks to fit them in the pothole. Therefore, these smaller deliveries are incremental as well as iterative. This is a smart approach when you have too many unknowns or unclear requirements. And this is called Agile Approach towards solving the complex problem. Okay, with this weird analogy, isn't it easy to remember the concept? So, we have seen the waterfall approach, we have seen the iterative approach, we have seen the incremental approach and we have also seen the Agile approach. Don't you think these visuals not only help to digest the concept quickly, but also help to remember it for longer? Now, let us summarize it with real-world example of website development project. When all the requirements are known and clearly understood at the beginning of the website development project, we can follow the waterfall approach. We execute the project phases in sequence and deliver complete functional website at the end. When the requirements are not known at the beginning, we can take the iterative approach. It starts with creating the website with very basic framework. We go on refining or chiseling out the website in subsequent iterations to deliver the final product. Iterative approach is all about refining the product through iterations until all customer requirements are met. Now, let us look at incremental approach to deal with complexity of unknown requirements. Here, we deliver functional website with few important features that the customer can start using. 
This is called the first increment. Then we go on adding the new features in the form of increments. It continues until the final product is delivered. This way the final product is delivered through multiple increments. Now let us look at the most preferred approach to deal with complexity. It is the agile approach. Here we deliver the smaller increments as well as refine the website through iteration. Here the customer's feedback and change in requirements are adapted through multiple iterative and incremental deliveries. Iterations and increments continue until the final product is delivered. Due to this multiple delivery model, the product team can adapt to the changing requirements. Agile approach is the most preferred approach for the complex adaptive problems and therefore for addressing such complex adaptive problems in the most productive and creative manner, we need a systematic framework. A simple and lightweight framework is at our disposal called Scrum. Explore the next video on why should I care about Scrum? Happy learning!